So it looks like we could be getting a God of War Ragnarok expansion or standalone game as we've talked about this in the past. And again, we have another source coming out. This one is more reliable, has had accurate leaks in the past, and it's just adding more fuel to the fire that there is a God of War expansion DLC standalone game coming. And we're going to dive deeper into this and I'll tell you what I think of it personally. But before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor and like the video, subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep the community informed. Now, this comes originally from Area Hugones, but uh, Insider Gaming has made an article about it. Being that, you know, the original site is in English, uh, I decided to go with uh, Insider Gaming on this one. And they say the news comes courtesy of Spanish outlet Area Hugones, which has previously reported on accurate leaks in the past. According to the outlet, the news comes from sources close to Sony that claim that the DLC could come as its own standalone game, somewhat similar to Spider-Man Miles Morales. The report outlines that its sources are unclear on how the DLC will be announced, but they have theorized that all signs point to an announcement at this year's Game Awards, which will be on December 7th, 2023. So this is pretty big, right? Obviously, you know, being from a source that has been accurate in the past and, and has reported before, it holds a lot more weight and we're going to get a lot more excited about it because of that. Um, the thought that it's going to be a standalone game makes a lot more sense than a DLC. I think that that's probably the route that they should go. I do know that that likely means that we're going to be paying full price for this experience rather than if it was a DLC, it might be like the price of Burning Shores, for example. But in this case, if it is a standalone, I would hope that they're going to make it worth our while because they're going to be asking for $79, $89, depending on where you live. Um, and that's a lot to ask for. So you got to make sure that that experience is up to par with that. Now, when it comes to the comparisons to Miles Morales, I personally liked the game. I thought it was worthy of the price tag. I know that some people might disagree just because of, of its length, but I personally felt that it was enough of an experience that it was worth the price tag. So if they have a similar experience with God of War's next entry, I don't know what to call it. If DLC next entry, you get the idea, then uh, I, I would be okay with that price tag. But overall, it doesn't look like there is a 100% confirmation of this is even being in existence, right? These are still coming from sources that are not official sources. So with that, I would say, just keep that in mind that, you know, this is still technically rumor territory, but it's starting to look a lot more plausible given the people that are coming out and talking about this. But I do imagine as we come closer to its time, things will begin to leak because that's what usually happens in the industry, it seems especially when they're going to be revealed at a event for example things just happen to leak sometimes so if it's true believe that yeah likely things will start to leak closer to its date mind you i love being surprised so that kind of sucks but it is what it is and it's going to happen whether we talk about it or not right so that's why i end up reporting on it and especially because you guys want to know what's going on um in terms of its announcement at the game awards again that's pure speculation they're theorizing right a lot of people took that as meaning as they are saying it's going to happen here, but in reality, they're just theorizing that that's somewhere that it could happen. Again, where this game is going to take place, we don't know. I mean, some have speculated, including myself, that it would be an Atreus game. You know, he's going off on his own adventure, seeing where that goes. It's a testing ground, seeing how people receive an experience that's only Atreus. But I also could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong about this. And it could be a Kratos game. We don't know for sure. Or it could be both characters in the game again, right? We don't know exactly where it's going to go uh, in this case. But regardless, I'm pretty confident with Santa Monica Studio, man. They, they have proved themselves time and time and time again. They have not put out a miss ever in the history of the studio. So it's important to note that they know what they're doing. I have full confidence in them and I'll allow them to... Uh, do whatever they want and I'll give them a fair chance always because they have yet to steer me in the wrong direction. So I'm just going to hold out and see what they do. And I'm excited for anything that they put together. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. What are you thinking about this? Is it going to be DLC? Is it going to be a standalone experience? Is it going to be shown at the Game Awards? And what do you want this game to be about or this DLC to be about? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you did not enjoy the video, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep the community informed. Thank you all for watching. Take care.